Yo, what is good, dev guys? Welcome to the last and final video for the advanced recoil system. In part five, I'm gonna show you guys a little simple way to set up some uh, weapon spread. That way your bullets don't hit exactly on their marks. If, if I press play here, you can see when I'm hip firing, all of my bullets are hitting exactly where they're supposed to be. And in some games, you don't want hip fire to be as accurate. Uh, so, we're going to add a little weapon spread or bullet spread uh, with a little bit of math. And this is something that you can extend, um, make it, you can make this dynamic. Like in my system, all my guns have a spread variable, uh, a max and a minimum and max spread. And I just, whenever I plug it in, I plug it in depending on whether I'm aiming or not. And that's what we're going to do here. Uh, so jump into the code. Excuse me. Go to the header file. We need a uh, we need a boolean, and we need a function to trigger that boolean. So, and we're gonna bind that function to an input. So we can go up here and just say uh, avoid start targeting, and that'll be like ADSing. That's what we'll do here. And all we're gonna do in that function is set a boolean to true. So let's get a boolean here. Boo. And we're gonna call it B is targeting. And that's good. Uh, we need to set this to false in the constructor. And then let's go ahead and implement this. And all we're gonna do is set this to true. Uh, uh, we also need a, a, a stop targeting. I didn't think about that. So control C, control V and rename this to stop targeting and then implement this one. Whoops, I don't want to do that. So rename this and then generate an implementation for it. And on start stop targeting, we just want to set B is targeting to false. And inside of our constructor, let's go up. Uh, we want to set B is targeting to false by default. And then um, let's go ahead and go to our setup player input component. And then let's just bind, let's bind an action real fast to those two functions. So copy and paste the fire function and we'll just call this ADS. ADS and when we press it, we want to say start targeting. And when we release it, we want to stop targeting. So that's how we'll activate this weapon spread and turn it off. Um, so now for the weapon spread, we'll go to your on fire. And um, right before we shoot our line trace, let's do something here. So if B is targeting or if we're not targeting. So if we're not targeting, we want to add add weapon or add bullet spread. And in this gun, our bullets are basically the line trace. So what we need to do is just a tr uh, we need to edit the line trace uh, value that comes out. So a good way to do this is just to say trace and whoops let's see, trace and let's uh, and the way that this works is the x is forward in unreal so we're not going to touch that we want it to always shoot the same distance but left and right and up and down we want to add a little offset so we'll say trace in dot y and y is left and right and we want to um we want to add a little offset of Let's see, of itself. So we do trace in dot y, and we're going to multiply it by f math dot ran. So we want a random in, uh, 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 we want a random float in range. And I've tested this. I think a good number is uh, zero point two five. Um, so we want the minimum to be negative 0 0.25 and the maximum to be 0 0.25. And we got to put F on there so it knows that we're messing with floats. 
Um, you can also put like a template right here. Like you can say float. I think no, you can't do that. One of these things you can do that. Um, but yeah, so so let's just copy and paste this, and we want to do the same thing for the for the up and down, which is the z value. Yeah, so this will um, if whenever we fire our gun, we'll check to see if we are targeting. Uh, if we are, this will this will get ignored. So if we are targeting, it'll just shoot out the regular tracing. But if we aren't targeting, we'll have a little bit of bullet spread. And what I could do, so if we're not targeting, I can have a little bullet spread. And then when we are targeting, I can make the bullet spread even less. So we can do, we can say, um, let's put this in an else actually, else here we can minimize these values so we can say point zero five even though i don't think you want to have any bullet spread when you ads in your game but we'll see what it looks like so with that let's go ahead and stop and rerun the editor let's see what we got you know what i'm saying let's see what we got i know we need to uh set up the uh, input binding inside of the project settings. So we'll do that. And then we'll get we'll get grimy. We'll get grimy. Okay. Advanced recoil plus expression is never used. Oh, shit, I'm tripping. So plus equals. This needs to be plus equals this value. So we want to add this value along on top of this value. We don't want to set, we don't want to set this to this. We want to add this to this, okay? So go ahead and run the editor again. If you're smarter than me, you've probably seen that and you're already in the editor going crazy, messing with the values. What's up, what it look like, baby, what it look like? All right, so we are gonna get in here. Um, I'm not gonna open anything. Go to my project settings, input, and we're gonna make a, a action mapping for uh, ADS, ADS. And it is gonna be bound to our right mouse button. It's not gonna do anything with the camera or anything. All it's gonna do is adjust our spread. So hip fire, look at that, look at the spread. You see the spread? But if we ADS, you see this the spread is minimized. So this is un ads and this is with ADS activated. So let's see it again. Let's go over here. So I'm gonna try to manage this recoil. That's the spread un ads and I'm gonna reload. And this is the spread uh, 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 with ADS. Shit, it might be easier, but when you got the uh, actual FOV, it might be way easier to ADS with zero spread. So a thing that you could do is make it so that the spread is a little bit more when you when you're on ADS. So let's try let's try point three two five. Not go up by that much. We're not gonna kill them. Oops. And I'm just copy this value here. Paste it here and here. And let's compile it. I want to see what that looks like. I'm going to try to manage it too. Um, so this is managed on ADS with no ADS. That's the spread. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a little bit better. So with ADS, you can really see the difference. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man, that's the last video I got for you guys. Shit, uh, I know y'all ain't seen my face this whole time, baby. I've been going crazy. You dig what I'm saying, baby? Yeah, that's the last video. Um, leave a like for every video. Leave a comment for every video, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my subscribers up. I'm trying to get my watch time up. Uh, let me know if you want any other systems coded in C++. I will make sure I research them and find the most efficient way in the 
most clever way to get it done. So uh, definitely leave that in the comments. Jump into my Discord channel, man. I'm going to leave that link to my Discord, to my social medias in every video. There will be timestamps in every video. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.